The egg puzzle questions in this video will focus on when notes start and when they stop. But let's start with some basics that you learned several lessons ago. This is a pair of eighth notes. We know that two eighth notes make one beat, so each is a half of a beat. They're counted as one and. Ready, go, one and. Let's start them on beat two. Ready, and go, and two and. Let's start them on beat three. Ready, and go, and three and. So we know two eighth notes equals a quarter note. Quarter notes are counted one and because it's one note for the length of two eighth notes. Ready, and go, and one and. Let's start on beat three. Ready, and go, and three and. Let's start on beat four. Ready, and go, and four and. And we learned about the quarter rest. The quarter rest is one beat which is like two eighth rests. It goes one and. Ready and go and one and. Make sure you hold those quarter rests for the full beat, which is equal to two eighth notes. We've also learned that if you have notes one on top of the other, they are played simultaneously in harmony. So we've learned that. So now let's clap and count through this. This is a very basic pattern with three types of notes. Eighth notes, quarter notes, and the quarter rest. Ready, and count, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and realize when it's in harmony, it's only one clap, even though there's two notes. Let's go backwards, ready, and go, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one and two and three and four and let's go forwards one more time ready and go and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so let's start with this bell on what beat do we ring the F? We ring the F on the and of one. On what beat do we stop it? We stop it on two. So it goes and two. Try that. Ready, go. And two. On what beat do we start this F? We start this F on beat one. On what beat do we stop it? We don't stop it, because you learned before, if you go to a rest, or if you go to a different letter, you stop it. But if it goes to the same letter, you don't stop it. So this would be one and two and. Ready and go and. One and two and. So practice that with your imaginary handbell. Ready and go and. One and two and. Here's another F. On what beat do we start this F? This F starts on beat four. On what beat do we stop it? If there was another measure after it, hypothetically, we would stop on beat one. So this would be four and one. Let's do that with your imaginary tone chime. Make sure you go circular. Ready and go. And four and one. And here's a reminder. You have a snap of the wrist, and you go in a circle. And a snap of a wrist, and you go in a circular motion. Snap of the wrist, see that? Let's play all the S. Ready, and count, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. This, my friends, is not a thumb plate. Let's play and count again, but this time I'm only going to point to the numbers. The one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You have to ring the ands on your own. Ready 
and count. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's go backwards. Ready? And go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So you have to do that and on your own. I'm not pointing at it. Let's go to this letter. This is an A. On what beat do we ring the A? We ring it on beat three. On what beat do we stop the A? We stop the A on beat four. So this goes three and four. Take your imaginary handbell, go in a circular motion, and let's ring it. Ready? And go. And three and four. One more time. Ready? And go. And three and four. What about this A over here that's played along with the F? On what beat do we ring that A? We ring the A on beat four. On what beat do we stop it? Hypothetically, if there was another measure, we would stop it on beat one. Watch this. Four and one. You try that with your imaginary handbell. Ready and go. Four and one. Let's ring the whole thing and make sure you are the one who is doing the counting. You have to be able to count this, so count out loud. Ready? And, and I'll point to everything first. Ready? And go. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And. Let's go backwards. Ready? And go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and very important that you stop that when you say three this time i'm only going to point to the one two three four and you have to do the ands on your own ready and go and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Remember, if you were playing along with a metronome, it wouldn't go one and two and three and four. It just goes one and two and three and four. And. So I want you to learn where the beat falls. Let's go backwards. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four. And. One and two and three and four and. Let's go to the next letter. We have C. On what beat do we ring the C? C rings on beat four. On what beat do we stop it? We stop the C on beat one of the next measure. Like this. Four and one. Try that with your imaginary tone shine. Ready? And go. And four and one. Let's play the whole thing. I'm just going to point to the numbers this time. Ready? And count. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's go backwards. Ready? And go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and let's go to this empty garbage before dad flips dad that's d d <clears throat> make sure you are doing the counting so on what beat do we ring this d this D is wrong on the and of two. On what beat do we stop it? We stop that D on three. Let's try that. Ready and go. And three. Do it again. Ready and three. On what beat do we ring this D? 
We ring it on beat two. On what beat do we stop it? We don't stop it because it's going to the same letter. So it goes two and three. Let's say that. Ready and go. Two and three. One more time. Ready, go. Two and three. Let's play the whole thing. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's go backwards. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and empty garbage. This is a G. On what beat do we ring the G? On beat three. On what beat do we stop the G? On beat four. Let's try that. Ready and go. And three and four. Do it again with your imaginary tone chime. Ready and go. And three and four. Let's do the whole thing. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four and let's go backwards ready and go and one and two and three and four and one and two and, <coughs> and four and and that cough was not written into there so now we're going to do a more fun pattern and Voila, you have your pattern. So you know the half note equals two beats, which is the same as four eighth notes. And you know the eighth rest is the same is half of a beat. Let's clap and count. Ready and count. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Remember, when you're taking your hands apart, that's showing where the rest is. So you want to take them apart at the right time. Let's go backwards. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's go forward one more time. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So let's go letter by letter. Let's start with this letter. This is empty garbage, G. On what beat do we hit this G? We hit it on beat two. On what beat do we stop it? We stop it on beat four. So it goes like this, two and three and four and, your turn, ready and go, and two and three and four and. On what beat do we hit this G? This G is rung on the and of one. On what beat do we stop that G? We don't stop it, because it goes to another G. If it goes to the same letter, we ring it and we ring it again. <clears throat> so let's try that. So it's on the end of one. Ready? Go. And two and three and four and. Let's do it again. Ready? Ready and go. And two and three and four and. And here's a G over here. On what beat? Do we ring this G? This G rings on the end of one. On what beat do we stop that G? We stop the G on beat two. So it goes and two. Take your imaginary handbell, let's try that. Ready, go, and two. Put it all together. Ready, and go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. 
Let's go backwards. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. This time I'm just going to point to the one, two, three, four. And you have to carry all the rest. So the beat is actually going to be between the dotted quarter note and the eighth note. Ready? And count. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's go backwards. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I really want you to get used to that feeling of the one and two and three and four and. because the more you do on your own the better you are the one that has to count this so that was G let's do this one empty garbage before dad that's a D so on what beat do we ring this D this D rings on the and of four on what beat do we stop it we stop it on the end of one in the next measure. So this goes and one and. Try that. Ready? Go. And one and. All right, let's try it again. Ready? Go. And one and. Let's put it all together. Ready? And count. And. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's go backwards let's go backwards again ready and go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and this time we're going to go forward and I'm going to tap to just the beats not the ends ready and go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's go backwards ready go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and F A C E on what beat do we ring the A we ring the A on beat 2. On what beat do we stop it? We stop it on the end of 3. So let's take an A. We're going to go 2 and 3 and. Because remember, the eighth dotted quarter note equals 3 eighth notes. The dotted quarter note equals 3 eighths. <clears throat> Ready? And go. And 2 and 3 and. One more time. Ready and go. And two and three and. Let's play the whole thing. Ready and go. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's go backwards. Ready and go. And one and two and three and. Four and one and two and three and four and let's go forwards and I'm just going to do the one two three four ready and go and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's go backwards ready and go and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and remember this if you are following a conductor the conductor is not going to go one and two and three and four and he's just going to go one and two and three and four try that down, in, out, up. You learned these before. Down, two, and three, and four, and 
one and two and three and four and so with a conductor or a metronome you're not going to get those ands you have to count them yourself so we have FAC from FACE so this is a C and on what beat do we ring the C the C rings on the end of three on what beat does the C stop the C stops on four. So it goes and four. Try it. Ready, go. And four. Let's put it together. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Let's go backwards. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. This time I'll just point to the beats. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Notice when I'm counting to the beat, pointing at the beats. I have to point twice at the half note because there's two beats in it. Let's go backwards. Ready and go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And we have one more note. F A C E. This is an F. On what beat do we play the F? We hit the F on beat one. On what beat do we stop the F? We stop the F on the AND of one. So, once again, this is not a thumb plate, and you are counting out loud. This goes one AND. Ready, go. One AND. So you stop it on AND. Let's do the whole thing on F. Ready, and count. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Let's go backwards. Ready, and go. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. This time I'll just point to the numbers, the beats. Ready, and go. One, and two, and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's go backwards ready and go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and see that piece of cake